When you install Internet Information Services, which is the web server for a Windows server, in this case a 2019 server, then the server automatically opens up firewall ports for 80 and 443. But if you would like to use different ports, then you'll need to edit the firewall manually. So let's take a look in our firewall, and you can do this by typing Windows Firewall or just going to Control Panel Windows Defender Firewall, and then click on Advanced Settings. And let's go to Inbound Rules. And we're going to create a new rule. Click on New Rule on the right-hand side. And we're going to choose a port. Click Next. And most likely it's going to be a TCP port because that's connection-oriented, so I'll choose that. And let's say that we're going to change the port that the uh, website listens on to, from port 80 and 443 to 5555. And I'm just picking a random port between 1 and 65,535. I'm going to allow the connection. And I'm going to give it a name. I'll just call it port 5555 just because it's easy to pick that out. And we see it puts it at the top of the firewall list. Now I want to double click on that. And we need to go to the Advanced tab. Now by default, we see that it's going to block edge traversal. And what that means is, is that it's going to allow all traffic on that port, 5555, as long as it's within the same subnet or VLAN. But if you're trying to get through from the internet or from another VLAN, another part of your company, then it may get blocked. So you hit the drop down and choose Allow Edge Traversal. So that way it can use other subnets. And it puts it at the top of the list just in case any other port may block it because it does process those uh, rules in order. Now I'm going to go into Internet Information Services, and I'm going to change that port that the website is listening on to that new one. So I'll click on Bindings, and I can either choose HTTPS or HTTP. It doesn't really matter. It depends on if you're using a certificate or not. And I'll listen on port 5555, and click Close. Now I'm in a web browser, I'm going to put in HTTP because that's the port I changed. Otherwise you'd choose HTTPS. I'm going to put in colon 5555. And there's our default web page. And again, you can do that with SSL as well. So that's how you edit your firewall so you can change the port that the website is listening on in a Windows 2019 server.